Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I am relaxing and chilling out. And guys, also, I, last night, uh, was making some late night cookies and by an accident, my tired self, instead of putting on my oven mitt, I picked up a towel to open a 400 degree oven. And I burnt the hell out of my pinky. It was in miserable pain, like 7 out of 10 excruciating pain level. Last night it was terrible, but it's not as painful anymore. And we're going to check out the FIFA contest. Hopefully you guys are doing good and well. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of rumors this week about repeatable Icon SPC stuff like that happening. So we'll just check it out. We'll see what we got today. Maybe we got a party bag. I'm, I'm still on a little bit of a break from streaming. Um, but let's check it out because yesterday's content was, was okay, but it wasn't anything too crazy. So we do have Icon SBC's mid pool. We've got a mid pool, guys, which for me, I'm just going to say this before I look at the price of this SBC. There's a lot of cards in the market that are way better than this card. I, I've talked about them in, in this week. Um, I think the Eredivisie center back, Upa Makano. I mean, these players are all just going to be better. So I, anything for me more than pu like Puyo being more than 100k untradeable is just not going to be worth it. And, and I don't want to be that person, but it's just, it's very outdated. His prime on the market is already 300k. Um, so disappointing to see mid icon still being released almost in the new year. Um, but let's see what EA is going to require for this. So 83, 84, 86. You can use foot champs players. And you do get a rare election players pack back. Um, I don't know how much an 86 squad is right now. I really don't know how much that is, guys. Um, I don't. I have no idea how much that squad is going to cost right now. I also, I also made, guys... Um, I also made... Um, some 80, uh, 78 plus player picks today for us, uh, just so you guys know. So an 86, I think an 86 is about 80 or 90 K. Um, now you could do this with, you could do this with untradeables. Let me just see a war real quick. I, I can't see, man, this, this SBCs today. It's not, it's not going guys. I'm trying to get the price of this SBC. Cause I want to, I want to give you guys an honest analysis of what I think about it. Okay. Surely Vera has an 86 squad. Uh, no, I, of course I clicked on the freaking loan. My God, I'm moving slow today, guys. I'm moving slow. Okay, so 86 for Vieira is 100K. So 100... I, I still don't think this is worth it. Um, I <laughs> Maybe that's unpopular, guys. But I still don't think that's worth it. If you want to get Puyo for the sentimental value, you can. Oh, Prime Zola! Eight squads. Oh, no. Okay, EA. Eight squads. Yikes. Now, Prime Zola is a really good card, guys. I will be honest. Nice to see that we do have a Prime Icon there. Um, he's a very good card. Four star, four star, high, medium, finesse shot trait. Right now on the market, he's like 480 to 500k, which is already really affordable. So for me, anything more than it, anything more than like 350k for this guy is just not going to be worth it. So let's see what EA think is is a fair price. This is a fantastic card. Uh, bronze and silver, 82, which is like this is uh, 20k with a team of the week. A lot of team of the weeks being required, so you know they may go up. 83 with a team of the week. Again, this is still like, this is still 20K. So 40K, um, you know, this is going to make it, I think 84s are 2K. So again, maybe maybe 75K with a team of the week. 85, um, an 85 right now, I think is also really affordable. And 85 is like 50. So we're looking at 120, 88. Oh no. Okay, 120, 200 from scratch. An 88, no. All right, so this is 400K. 50K pack back though. Rare Election Players Pack, Rare Mix Players Pack, Prime Mix Players Pack. Th this one I like a little bit more. Uh, I still think it's maybe a little bit too expensive because you guys got to understand what fodder right now is that fodder is on the ground. Like fodder is the lowest is going to be all year pretty much. How much is he on the market? 500k? Okay, so you get an 100k untradeable discount theoretically, something like that. Before anything, right? And a lot of people have fodder. So this is something nice to work towards. Zola is really good in game. I hope they drop loans for these cards. Zola's a great card in game. So that's nice to see. What are his downsides? Obviously his strength and his stamina are massive downsides, guys. That, that's really what you're going to notice with this card if you notice anything. And then we've got George Best, which is a mid icon. He's 700k on the market. Best is an interesting one. I think it's nice to have an untradeable right mid. Um... You know, again, it's not his prime, but, you know, I don't know if we could expect his prime. I don't know. His prime is 2 mil. So let's take a look, right? Obviously, the only issue that I have with Best is that, number one, he doesn't really have anything too special about him, and he's medium-medium. Oh, this one's medium-low. Never mind. Medium-low is much better than medium-medium. Messi has medium-low. I think R9 has a version with medium-low. Medium-low is very good. 
in game. It's weird how the work rates work in FIFA, but that's that's actually not too bad. I thought it was uh I thought he was medium medium. Okay, not bad, guys. So that is um that is not bad. That's not a bad icon. I, I again I I'm I'm a different person, I think, than the majority of people with FIFA. I thought you guys can let me know. Like I the primes are already so low on the market that I'm losing interest with mids or bases. Um, but maybe that's just me. And I and I and I totally understanding if that is just me. Um 85. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit so 88, uh, 200K, 87, 140, 340, um, 86, 440. All right, so this one is like, I think 550K. Um, and you get probably mega. Okay, so, you know, before anything, 550 with good packs back. So, again, my favorite one today is Zola. I, I really like Zola. I think that's actually a really good SBC if you have fodder. I wouldn't be surprised with the rate that EA drop icon SBCs, which is very slow, I may complete Zola because I have a lot of fodder that I'm... That I'm, that I'm, I don't know what to do with. So, uh, that is, uh, that is interesting. So, Winter Wildcard Challenge, another token, and a premium gold players pack. That's good. We'll bookmark that. 25k pack. Um, anything else here? A party bag with a token. Nice. So, a party bag with a token. A winter party bag. Um, once the watch, rule breakers, Adidas numbers up for team of the group stage. I mean, it's not a crazy pack, but what does it require? Two team of the weeks in 83 rated. Wow. Okay, so... We were assuming, guys, that EA is going to keep supplying, uh, keep requiring Team of the Weeks. A lot of Team of the Weeks required today from, from um, Icon SBCs to Party Bag. They probably will keep going up. Um, I club stock the other day, but unfortunately, guys, like after my club stock, um, you know, EA started supplying uniforms. It's, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I also wanted to show you guys that I did do some player. I did about 30 player picks last night. Um, I got, and I've made some more for today, but in terms of what I got... Um, out of the 30 that I did, maybe, I'm at a total of 50. I got Collins, which is not a bad car to get untradeable um, really fast. I didn't love him, but for the Bundesliga team, nice. And I got Mars, who, you know, he's 25K on the market. So I don't, I, you know, it's probably fodder, but I did get a couple good untradeables. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this real quick. Um, obviously, 83 rated for me is no is no biggie. And, and, and from scratch, guys, 83s are so low right now that really the thing that's going to spike this SBC is going to be... Uh, is the team of the week that that's really if those go up a lot that's what's going to hurt you um regarding this sbc it's the fact that you know team of the weeks rose a lot and uh you know that that's going to be the factor that is going to be the one that's going to be rising the price in my eyes so all right let's go ahead let's do this um i do need to see if i have untradeable team of the weeks i did club stock team of the weeks as well. well we'll look at the market too i have been trading a lot of prime icons guys i've been making a lot of coins and I'm, I'm, I'm very much just resting this week but I've been pretty much putting in, you know, a, a couple hours just kind of watching these icons while I'm chilling. And I'm making a lot of coins, which is really good because I'm making a push for content for Team of the Year. So we can do some more fun stuff with lighting rounds and, and stuff like that for the stream. So that has also been really good. Um, untradeable Team of the Weeks. So what do we have? I see. I think Mars is a little bit too high to put in here. But we're going to need two, which is a lot. Um, so we may have to use like an 85. That's 83 as is. If I get rid of that... I'm a little worried that if I get rid of, uh, okay, so you know what? That's actually 83. I, 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 you know, I don't know if this pack is worth it, guys. I just think it's a fun pack. Um, so we'll go ahead and do it. We do get another token as well. And I am going to save all of my tokens, guys. Um, I, I've seen people saying DACA is good, but I'm going to save my tokens for, uh, for team of the year, guys. I mean, I, or sorry, my, 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 uh, 8510 when I, when I unlock it. All right. So I can't open I can't open my uh, my party bag yet, so let me go rip my uh, let me go rip these player picks for you guys. By the way, Signe is going to the MLS, which is pretty random. Um, and there's a little team of the week, thanks, EA. But that's kind of crazy. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna do really well. It's, a, it's like an interesting signing because Signe is not really at the end of his career yet. Um, so it's interesting to see somebody kind of move to. You know, not to hate, but but definitely a lesser league, right? Obviously, MLS is worse than the Serie A. Nobody's uh, arguing that. And so, I, you know, I find it interesting that he's done it. Maybe he's getting a bag, but interesting, right? I saw, I just saw that on Twitter before I started recording. Malinkovich Savage will take that. Very nice. So 285s. I think as, as long as we get a walkout from 20 of these, I'll be, I'll be content because, you know, yes, I'm spending out of the, the coins to get these. Rafa's not bad at all. Um, I think I had just recently club stocked him. So we'll take another inform. Obviously, with party bags requiring them all the time, it's going to be nice to get them. We've probably got about eight more here. Um, Hendanovich, there's our walkout. All right, very nice. We'll take a little Hendanovich and maybe 
We'll start to work on Zola a little bit. So we got our walkout. I guess you got three total if you guys want to count the team of the weeks. I don't really count those, but Andre Silva 84 is not bad. Um, now, my theory, guys, because now I've opened for these about 70 once I finish this set. I do think the normal 75 plus player pick is better. Um, I will say that. I, I feel like after further analysis that it's definitely the better one. Um, if any of you guys were uh, kind of wondering my opinion on that, that's really what I think. I think these ones are not as good. Um, but, hey, maybe, uh, you know, the thing with these player picks, guys, is there's always going to be some that are more overpowered than others. But that's crazy, by the way. Two Team of the Weeks. I think EA is up the pathway for their Team of the Weeks because they're requiring all of them. Very nice to get a Rakitic on tradable. So we've just got, we've just come away here with three informs and some decent fodder, to be fair. Um, I think, again, with the picks, guys, like, oh, we got one. Again, like, you know, all right, so that, <laughs> is he, is he any good in game? Um, high medium, you know what, my, my, one of my best friends, Inception, in this community, I wish I could just give him this card, because he's a huge Porto fan. I could just give him the card and say, dude, you know, you got it, bro, because I think he would love this card, but maybe I'll try him out. Um, he does have some really nice in-games, to be fair. Um, definitely looks like a fun player. <laughs> if you know, you know. But, uh, yeah, cool, bro. We'll take that. Very nice. And we got a wild card. I can't be mad. These are, these, out of these 20, you know, they've been great. By the way, I'm waiting for Lacroix to get that promo card. I know EA's gonna do it soon. I can feel it. Um, but again, like, with picks, guys, for me, it just takes one, right? It just takes one, and, uh, it could change everything forever. That sounds really cringe, but again, it really does just take one. Um, you know what I am going to do right now, guys? Um, before we do anything real quick, I'm actually going to go over... First of all, I'm going to go on Twitter to make sure I'm not missing some crazy milestone or objective. Because whenever I'm recording these videos, um, I always feel like... Um, all right, whenever I'm recording these videos, guys, I always feel like... Uh, let's see. Uh... Wow, so informs, informs right now, guys, are 15 to 17K, I think. I think informs are 15 to 17K. So we'll check on that in a second. I don't even remember what I was just saying. Oh, I always like, I always worry a little bit, guys, that when I'm recording videos and stuff, um, that, I, uh, that I'm going to miss something, right? And I, and I never, for you guys, like on YouTube, I never want to miss anything. Even the guys on the stream, like, I just don't want, I don't want to miss anything for you guys. I want to make sure that I'm covering the content and, and I'm doing everything right. By the way, guys. What do you think, man? Is Cristiano Ronaldo fodder? It might be time for him to go into my SBC soon. It might just be time. Um, okay, so we do have some 87s. Very nice. I think they said Team of the Week. Or, did they say Team of the Week or Foot Champs? I pray. Because I would really, really, really like to use... Um, would really like to use that card. Uh, that, that Moreno, man. It would be, a, be an honor to be able to put him in my SBC. It really would be. Let me see if we have anything else here. We probably got like one or two tradable high rateds. Um, surely. I thought Coman I had, but there we go. There's the two that I'm looking for. And I guess worse comes to worse, we can put in Mares. Um, but you know what, guys? If I'm actually able to knock out this, um, if I'm able to knock this out, what is that, 88? So maybe we replace, not that, but anything else. Do we have any other really high rated? So maybe Sancho? That's still not it. Wow. Okay, that's kind of surprising. So maybe for, okay, so now is where it gets interesting because we could probably downgrade but we do have team of the week guys i mean to be honest with the fodder that i have it's actually it's actually impressive that i'm going to be able to knock this out um because once i knock this out it's uh you know an 86 obviously in the current market guys is way less so it, it, it is a nice luxury to be able to kind of get this this big boy squad done let's see if we could do bernardo silva for an 87 no no we can't so we're literally on the border right here I, I i mean what i could say is maybe we can do an 84 for an 85 um that's the only other thing that i can think of that we might be able to do here um we'll give it a go i think shaw will link with uh sancho obviously um oh no we took sancho off great great logic uh okay no we can't even we can't even save the we can't even save that okay so we're literally at the border here and uh we're gonna submit that and let's go. So we also should get a pack from this as well. I'll also go into the store for you guys. I'll check and see if we have any promo packs. And then we'll kind of talk a little bit more about the market and look at some other stuff. Um, you know, it'd be funny if we actually got something uh, from this SBC. And unfortunately, I can't sell him. He's untradeable. So there's nothing I can do with him. We got to take a look at the team of the week prices too, guys. That's going to be something big um, that I do want to do today. 50k pack, nothing. Okay, sometimes I feel like those SBC packs are really OP. We get Ricardo Pereira, which I don't think he is selling for a lot. He's an 84. Uh, we do get 284s, though. That's not bad. Um, again, Dembele's probably not selling either. No, he actually is. Okay, he actually is selling. Let's list him up. Uh, did Dinier go up? 2.6. Okay, you know what, guys? We have some life. 
We'll have some life on 84s in this world. Unbelievable. And I do think Areola also sells. Um, and there is a slight chance... I know I'm being very tedious with the selling. There's a slight chance that Neto sells. He always really rises for links, but he's not up today. All right, let's discard the rest. And now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, we have we have our winter party bag. Uh, we have our winter party bag. We've got a rule breaker. I don't think it's a big one. It's English, it's a right mid, and it is going to... Oh, my God. Guys, that is ridiculously bad. I'm going to be honest with you guys. That is ridiculously mad. Mad? Bad. No, bad. It's ridiculously bad. All right? That is bad. And I already have him. No way. Now, okay, we've got him as a do. Does this guy even sell on the market? What do we pay for him? 13k. All right, well, you know what? We'll list him for this. And he'll go up there. Now, let me see if my favorite packs are in the store. The 81 to 89s. Are they in the store? No, they're not. They were yesterday. <clears throat> uh, 86, 84, 85, 83. So we also don't have lightning rods. Very nice, though. I'm very happy to get that part of Zola done. Um... We also have a winter wildcard. So this is for another token. This is a 25k pack. I'll do this real quick, but it's not going to take me too long. <clears throat> 70 rated uh, rare players. 10 two, uh, players from the same country, region, minimum 3. Players from one club, max 5. Players from the same country or region. Okay, so this is... I'm pretty sure this is just... Um, players from the same country, region, minimum 3. Okay, so this is just one nationality. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Spain... And I'm going to do high to low because I have a lot of Spanish players. Earlier today, I was building SBCs for you guys. Um, and I do have a lot of Spanish rares. So we're going to do that. I think this should be okay to do. Now, we did need... I think we needed a ton of rares um, from what I can see. I think we needed a ton of rares. So what I'm also going to do is go down the down the line here and really quick see if we have that... If, see if we have a bronze rare because that would be huge for this SBC. We're just a little bit lower rated. We don't. Unfortunately, of course we don't. But, um, okay, let me see what I have in terms of bronze rares real quick. Just not even Spain, but anything else. What do we have? We have, like, two nationalities here. France, and we have another French player. Of course we have another French player, but it's just about where he is. Okay, right there. So, that would be all the requirements. Now we would have to just kind of put the pieces in uh, incorrectly in the video, which you guys know is going to be hard. And, of course, I've literally, like, not selected any center backs, which is just extremely typical, something I would do. Um, let's put the striker up there where he belongs, and then we still need a little bit more chem here, uh, unfortunately, so let's do that. No, we're going to put him back there. We do need a center back. That's what we're going to have to focus on here. So why don't, we, why don't we put the rare left mid there, and why don't we try to find a center back here? Why don't we try to find a Spanish center back in our club? Surely we've got one. We do. We can do that, and then we can do that, and we lost chem. I don't know how we lost chem, but we're, we're almost there, guys. Okay, it's like the Are We There Yet movie. We need one more rare, and we still need 85 chem. I'm not using Luis Alberto. There is no way in heck that I'm using Luis Alberto. Um, we will toss in Saul, and does that work? No. It still does not work. Guys, this is a nightmare. Okay, so what we're going to now do is let's just put a random Spanish player. And look, I'm overpaying like crazy because you only need... But I think rare is generally going to go up uh, for this SBC. So a lot of people will always laugh at people that are putting in gold rares for a 70-rated SBC. But my theory is that... You know, the, the rares go up anyways from good nationalities. Um, that's for my team. I cancel you. Oh, that's when I was doing uh, Silver Stars, guys, and I was losing my freaking mind. Um, don't worry about that. Don't mind that. Anyways, we got our next token. What I'm going to do is check my tokens as well after this, and then we're going to go on the market and look at some stuff, guys. I want to talk to you guys about a couple things um, on the market. So this is our 25K pack. We do get an 80-plus guarantee, which is really nice. Um, we didn't get anything. We got our boards. We got our boards. Let's go ahead on the market and let's take a look at let's take a look at team of the week real quick, guys. Because first of all, that's something that's probably going up a lot today. Um, I would be very surprised if it wasn't, um, but like really surprised because I had a couple of team of the weeks on my trans list because I was stocking my club. Let's see, did they really rise that much? Uh, yeah, they're up a ton, 15k, and are they selling? Yeah, they're all selling. So they're going to probably go a little bit higher. I mean, there's a lot of Team of the Weeks required. 17K right now. Uh, they're like 16K. So the profits are not going to be as big, guys. And the reason for that is that the supply through the Foot Champs Rewards... By the way, we bought this at 4-1. Very nice. Um, the supply through the Foot Champs Rewards, guys, is just going to impact it a lot. There's so much supply this year. But, um, yeah, I think like some of the older Team of the Weeks are going to really, really go up a lot. 
that seems to be like what happens from these party bags, guys. The older team of the weeks go up a lot. So I have some old ones. Basically, a lot of the old ones that I had, I think were going to go like extinct. But then EA put out a store pack the other day where they resupplied old team of the weeks, right? So it really messed stuff up. Okay, so this guy's 26K. Is he selling? Uh, he's not selling, but we have a hunter on ours. So maybe we're going to get lazy. <laughs> Uh, but I do, I've been meaning to get rid of these because I've had these ones on my transfer list for like a week. And basically after the last party bag ended, I stocked my club not knowing that EA was going to pull the shenanigans. Um, so what you guys will notice is if you start to check your club for a couple of the older team of the weeks, they're probably going up a lot more than others. And uh, another recommendation is that with some of the higher rated ones, don't sell them. Because what I had noticed was that a couple days after the party bag last year, they rose even more. Okay, so this guy, this guy's like 18k. I think this guy's a lot higher, but it's it's not that many coins, but we'll take the coins when we can get them, guys. Um, I know I'm never going to complain about, about coins coming into my club. And we'll just see. Also, list them for lazy buyers. Um, be greedy. Yeah, this dude is 18. This guy's 18K. I think this dude is literally 18K. And we we just, we have him first owner. Okay. Discard these. Yes, I do want to quick sell those. And then we had some cards that we were also trading with. These I had from the other day. Um, so yeah, we don't really have too much supply today. I mean, the daily SBC was untradeable. There's probably going to be a little bit of a sell-off from the stuff that people are packing today. Um, I don't also see another player SBC. So for me, in terms of value, I do like Zola a lot today. Best is okay. Puyol is just an L. I'd be curious to see what, what flipping percentage-wise, what these guys are saying. So they're saying best is 90% upvote. Uh, Zola is 67%. Um... And Puyol is 73% downvote. Okay, so that makes sense. And the party bag is 31k today. So 31,000 for the party bag. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys got something a little bit better than me. Um, tomorrow is going to be a new team of the week, guys. Usually, did we get another sale? No, I don't think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, we're going to... Oh, 25k! Hunter OP! <laughs> Alright, so what we're also going to do, chat... And I just said chat because I'm not a YouTuber and I'm usually streaming... Uh, we're going to just check out our club real quick and see if any of these informs are going crazy. Because I stocked my club a long time ago. So this guy's not going crazy. So these all went down again. They were up. There was a period where they all got resupplied. But there was a period where a lot of these informs that I had were really high last week. And now they're back down again, which is very interesting. And that's that's just due to EA supplying the market with these guys. They were really, really high the other week, though. And it, it was pretty crazy to see. Um but yeah, I mean, I, I guess I guess the strategy going forward, guys, is just going to be restocking your club whenever these guys are really low. Um, I'm just going to sell the ones in my transfer list for now because those are the ones that are occupying space, and I'm going to keep the ones in my club until pretty much until like I, I want to hold the ones in my club until they go up to like 25 or 30k. Um, a lot of them right now look like they're at about maybe maybe 20. A lot of the a lot of the older team of the weeks look like they're at maybe 20. Um, from what I can see, this guy looks like he's maybe 25, 26. So. Definitely check your clubs, guys, because a couple of these guys are 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 riding like borderline extinction, which is pretty crazy. Um, if you think about the the percentage return that you're getting from some of these players, right, where you pick them up at 12k, you sell them at 20k, it's it's pretty remarkable, right, that that type of return is possible, and it's so safe, right? Like every time this year, you know, these guys go down to maybe 10k, you pick up a couple, you stock them in your club, right, and and you're looking at you're looking at a gold mine. So we'll see, we'll see what the trend is. I wonder, you know, last time I what I remember is that it they. Oh, meant to list that they went up really quick and then they went down all day but it'd be interesting to see the trend of kind of what happens here i know i picked these up and kind of just stocked them a couple of these guys are even from really recent team of the weeks what i think is interesting is that i think the lower rated ones are the ones that are starting to get really rare um like the really really low rated ones i think there's um a couple of them. i have another wuli nice i think i just sold it for 26 right or 25 yeah this is first owner this is from literally getting like elite you know i could have discarded that for 30k total and now he's all the way up there so we'll take that man very nice same with this guy um yeah so definitely definitely worthwhile of my time uh to be holding these because the, these guys are gold mines look at this man just printing coins from our club right now um and i'd kind of been waiting for this all year my little hesitant thing that i had with this was that you know ea is obviously the supply with team of the weeks is a lot more than normal um because of you know everybody's getting kind of team of the week packs from foot champs now but um not too bad, not too bad at all. This guy's 20, 25, but again, what you're noticing is I'm listing for lazies, guys. I'm like, that's what you're gonna wanna do. Do not list your card as cheapest on the market. I think it's uh, like just not beneficial. You should just be listing them way higher than what they're selling for. Cause people are doing, the, people are gonna do this party bag. This party bag is very in demand. Um, that guy's a bit at 22. 
Ray National. So this is what I want to see. Were these guys supplied today in that in that store pack? Uh no. I mean it doesn't really look like it. Maybe they were, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe they were though. They look the 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 lower so the under 81s look a lot more rare. This guy is 30k, but he's getting price fixed. So let's try 27. Yeah, interesting, man. This is interesting. This guy, 20k. And let's check out this dude. Dude is 21. Interesting. Yeah, because these guys should theoretically have way less supply. A lot of these are like, you know, new, uh, really old team of the weeks. Yes, they're lower rated, but they should be like really rare compared to the other ones. So I guess we'll have to monitor that one. Um, I had just club stocked a lot of these this week. As you can see, I bought a lot of these for like 11k or I packed them and I literally haven't sold them all year. And did we get any sales? So we haven't got any sales yet. We'll see if any of those sell. Um, as for the market, we don't have any supply, guys. So when there's no lightning rounds, there's no supply. The market does go up a lot. Um, that's kind of what happens. When there's no crazy supply, uh, the market's been going up really high at night. Um, I've been trading a lot of the Prime Icons. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's been a blast. Like, I'm just, I'm, 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 they're so rare, right? So there's times where these cards go up so much. I actually just started getting into a little bit more of the expensive ones. I've even been trading some of the uh, wild cards, man. I, yesterday, I traded some of the wild cards. I'm kind of just trying to make some coins and just having fun with it. Um, we do have Team of the Week going out of packs tomorrow, guys. So Team of the Week will be going out of packs tomorrow, just in case you want to invest. I, I still think a couple of the Team of the Week cards are going to go higher, even though I know they're up a lot last day or two. I still kind of think they're going to go up a lot. And then uh, our Winter Wild Cards are in packs until uh friday so these are impacts until friday again i also think these are going to go up a decent chunk um it's it, it's crazy man they're, they're selling so high i actually risked yesterday with ebra you guys saw in the video I, I was able to sell him for 315 i thought he's gonna go to 35 he didn't go that high but again it's like another day where we don't have too much supply with ebra um any day that there's not like a tradable pack sbc or something is going to be a day where the market's going to be able to breathe a bit and that should happen again today anyways guys i'm out of here Enjoy the video. Enjoy the, the content right now. I mean, EA is going crazy. I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace.